there's a ton of information online about developing business credit. What I'm about to give you is quite simple, quite easy to do if you are a person with decent personal credit. What we're about to talk about is American Express and why you want to get into the American Express ecosystem when you're developing business credit. Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. So let's start at the beginning. So be sure to watch this video from the beginning to the end so you can get all of these tips and tricks to help you develop business credit using American Express. So the first area. Now, if you have bad credit and bad credit would be 550 and below, do not apply for any American Express credit cards until you get your credit score 670, 680, preferably 690. You don't even want to try to apply for any American Express credit products with a low or bad credit score. Just put that out there. So what you want to do is go ahead and get an American Express product. I would suggest the American Express Blue Cash. That's one of their easiest cards to get. Get that card. Now, why do you want to go ahead and get an American Express credit card product? Once you get an American Express credit card product, anything that you get after that first credit card pull, American Express is gonna pull your Experian and they're gonna pull your TransUnion. They will do soft pulls for any future improvements. Let's go ahead and talk about why do I think American Express is the best business credit card system. If you have credit cards, have you tried to transfer credit from one credit card to another? You can't do it with Capital One. You can't do it with US Bank. Uh, you, I don't know if you can do it with Chase Bank. I know you can't do it with Wells Fargo. I don't think you could do it with um, Bank of America. So inherently, this is part of the American Express economy. Once you go ahead and get business credit cards with American Express, one of the salient features is you can apply for another American Express credit card. And let me give you the rules. You can get three American Express credit cards in 91 days. You can get two credit cards and you can get one charge card. After that, you got to wait until the oldest credit card that you got gets to 91 days before you can apply for any more American and express credit products. Also, you can get two credit limit increases per year with American Express. Now, what is a credit limit increase? Let's say you have your American Express account. That's where your credit limit increases originate. They originate from the American Express account. Let's say you have six credit cards and you go ahead and one of those credit cards, you go ahead and you get a credit limit increase. You cannot get another credit limit increase on the another card from American Express until six months in one day. So, but this is where the American Express credit system really comes into play. You can transfer credit from one credit card to another every 30 days. Now, let's go ahead and let me get you uh, a feature. Let's say you have six American Express credit products. You have some charge cards, you have some credit cards and you, on one credit card, you went ahead and you got a credit limit increase. So you cannot get another credit limit increase for six months and one day. However, you're past the 91 days and you can go ahead and get two American Express credit cards. And this is something that I have done. Get the American Express because I went ahead and got the American Express credit card and then I immediately transferred the credit from the new American Express credit card to an older American Express credit card. Uh, once again, let's say you have American Express gives you a credit card with a $20,000 limit. You can transfer $19,000 of that new credit limit to an 
older American Express credit card. It's very, very powerful. And it's set up in the system where you can do this automatically without even having to call American Express. So what I did is I had the American Express credit cards. Then I went ahead and applied for two more American Express credit cards. And I just, once again, you can only transfer the credit limit every 30 days. So I applied for a credit card, shifted that credit card, credit limit to an older American Express credit card. And also when you get these new American Express credit products, don't use them. You don't want to, because at some point in the future, you may want to get that card back. And American Express has a once, you know, once you get this card and once you use the bonus opportunity, you can never ever get that bonus opportunity again. But we're not getting these new American Express credit cards to use. We're getting them for the credit limit to switch to an older credit card. So make sure you never use these credit cards. You can like, you know, what I did is I let the credit card sit maybe three months and I canceled it. And then I got another one and I shifted the credit limit to an older American Express credit card. This is, this is one of the ways that you can get extremely crazy credit limits. Currently I have $350,000 just in American Express business credit cards. And I'm not counting the potential limit of the charge cards. I am just counting on my charge card. I have a $20,000 credit limit. I've got two $75,000 uh, limits. I've got $50,000 limits. You can get up to extremely high credit limits with American Express if you use and pay the cards. Once again, last year I spent $165,000 on American Express credit cards. So that opens up the year for me to be in a very good position, but you must use and pay off the credit cards because at some point, if you're just going out and you're applying for credit, what they're gonna do is give you a bunch of low limit cards. So you need to use the credit cards, then transfer these limits to older credit cards, then close these new credit cards at some point in the future. Now, once again, I haven't done this in a while because you know, I'm, I'm pretty much cash and carry, but what you can do is set yourself up to build some amazing credit limits with American Express credit cards. American Express offers the charge card, the American Express Platinum, the American Express Gold, the American Express Plum, and I feel that there's another charge card in there. And then the American Express has the American Express Delta Reserve, the American Express Delta Platinum, the American Express Delta Gold, and numerous other credit cards. I think American Express on both sides has about 18 cards, whether it's personal or business. But once you get into the American Express system, literally within two years, you can build yourself some amazing credit limits if, number one, you use the cards, and number two, you pay them off. Um, you cannot, this may, once again, I have used the credit cards. I've went ahead, got the credit cards, used the credit cards. So I don't know if this will not work if you're just out getting American Express credit products. But I do know from my personal experience that this is a way that you can build some very big credit limits. Also, let's talk about the American Express financial review with some of the stuff that I read, because I've not come under a financial review, because once again, uh, I have spent last year $165,000, and this year I have spent $90,000. And uh, I've not been threatened or messaged by American Express about a financial review, and I am well, well, well above that $35,000 limit. I have multiple cards that are one, two, three, four. I have four cards that are above $50,000 credit limits. And I have used these cards and I have paid them off. So if you're worried about the American Express credit limit review, I 
have an understanding that this is something that's going to come up if you're just applying for American Express credit cards, you're getting higher and higher limits, but you're not using the American Express credit products and you're not paying them off. Because like I said, I have um, American Express Business Platinum, I have American Express Business Gold, I have American Express Delta Platinum, I have the American Express Delta Reserve, and I have used these cards to quite a bit and I have paid them off and I've not had any problems with American Express. But the thing is, I am using the products. I am using the credit cards. So once you go ahead and get into the American Express system and we're going to talk about the things you need to do to position yourself to get American Express business credit. Now, one of the things that American Express does when you apply for one of their business credit card products is they're going to want to look at your business checking. And one of the things is you're going to need to have not one, not two, but three months of activity of any business credit, uh, business checking account that you want to put in there because literally you can hook it up to your bank and it will put all of your accounts in there. And this is where I found out that you need at least three months because I use, I have I have a bunch of accounts and I put some accounts in there that were um, for credit or to pay off deposits and it told me that you can't use this account because it doesn't have three months of transactions, which I was unaware of. Once again, if you want to go ahead and get an American Express, now there's two ways to get an American Express business credit card. I'm going to give you the first way that I got my American Express business credit cards. Number one, I actually have a real business. Number two, I actually have an EIN. Number three, I have an S corporation. So I went in because I already had their personal account. And once again, you want to make sure that you are logged in to your personal account before you apply for anything. Because if you just go ahead and find an app and you don't log in, more than likely they're going to do a double pull, Equifax and TransUnion, not Equifax, but Experian and TransUnion. They're gonna pull both your credit reports. So if you don't want that, make sure that you are logged in. And once you're logged in, they're gonna ask you for your company name, and they're gonna ask you some very interesting information. They're gonna ask you how much money you make and how much money your company makes. Now depending upon what kind of business you can be, it can be very close or it can be very different. Uh, so in my case, I just put down the money that I got out of my company on my W-2 as the money that I made. And then I put the amount, the money that the company made and it was different numbers. But this was a way for me to get into the American Express ecosystem. And once again, I have at the moment, um, let me show you. I have a bunch of American Express cards. I have a ton of them. So these are all of my American Express credit cards. I have quite a few of them, right? I have eight American Express credit cards and out the eight, five are charge cards and that gives me well actually three i have two american express platinums i have the personal platinum i have the business platinum and i have the business gold and the rest of my american express credit products are credit cards so i have five well let me see let me count so i've got one two three four five six seven eight i have nine american express credit cards i have six i have six american express you know credit cards i have the american express on the personal side i have the american express platinum uh, i have the american express delta reserve which i'm pretty much going to get rid of this summer because it doesn't make any sense for me to have the American Express business reserve than to have the personal. So I'm getting rid of the personal this summer. But one of the things that you want to do, and once again, I have nine American Express at the moment. I have nine American Express credit cards. And in to see February 20th of next month, I'm getting rid of two. And then I'm getting rid of another one in June. And once again, 
I will be down to six American Express credit products, but I will have extremely high credit limits because like this watch, this watch was $51,000. I bought that with the American Express Business Platinum. So I have an incredible amount of, like I said, 350,000, that's just counting the credit portion, but uh, I have an American Express rep in my credit, my potential credit limit on the business platinum, business gold, and I'm gonna talk about something very important here in a minute, is about 300,000. So I have $650,000 worth of American Express business credit. Now, here's something that's really interesting. You have your American Express account, then you have all of your cards listed on your account. Those are two different things. How you treat, because the American Express Platinum and the American Express Gold are the same card. I know it's like, wait a minute, but they're different cards with different numbers. This is true, but how you treat the American Express Platinum and how you treat the American Express Gold, the business business cards, they, how you treat one influences your whole account. So this is one of the reasons at the moment I've got maybe our American Express, maybe $5,000 and I'll probably pay that off the end of this month. But you have to be very, very careful not to impede your American Express credit account process. You have your main account, that's your, when you go in, you sign in, that's your main account, and then you have each card, those of sub accounts. So for you to be really, really safe, you wanna make sure that you pay your bills consistently on time and never allow yourself to get in a position where you have a lot of American Express debt. Once again, this is with the charge cards, with the charge cards. Now with the credit cards, you can go ahead and max out your credit card. And long as you make that minimum monthly payment, you're good, you're good. So I have, like I said, I'm getting ready to reshuffle my American Express uh, deck because I feel at the moment that I have the max number of American Express credit cards that I get that I can get, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm going to get rid of cards that I'm not using. And before, and this is very, very important, you do not want to get rid of an American Express card before you transfer the limit. Let's say you've got American Express Personal and you've got like six cards and American Express has something else. Before you close out your cards, what you wanna do is transfer the majority of that limit to another American Express card before you close that card. This is, this is one of the reasons I'm running around with $650,000. And this is just only American Express. This isn't uh, Truist, this isn't PNC Bank, this isn't uh, Bank of America. This $650,000 worth of business credit is strictly 100% with American Express. I want you to think about that. And you know, I could have did this years ago, but, but since I was such a cash heavy person and I wasn't using credit cards, I never actually thought, you know, I, like at one point I actually got rid of my American Express cards because I wasn't traveling during the COVID and other issues. And literally I got these nine American Express cards since July of 2022. Let me say this again. I've got these nine American Express credit cards since July of 2022. We're not even at a full year and I'm sitting on $650,000 worth of American Express business credit. I'm not even counting, you know, the personal credit. And this is one of the things because since I'm such a fan of American Express, I do not use any of my other cards. Like I have a Truist business card, I have a PNC business card, I have a US Bank business card, and I have a feeling that I'm about to get a Sam's Club business card where I will be able to actually have multiple. I have a ton of unused business credit where it's just nice to have in case I need it in the future. Because once again, with American Express, you have to be very, very careful with how you use your charge cards. 
I personally do not use my charge cards unless I already have the money in the bank to pay off that credit card. That's just how I proceed to use my American Express credit cards. But once again, American Express from a business credit standpoint is the best way you can go. And this is another way that you can get American Express credit cards in a business name. And I don't really think this is the best way, but let's say you want to start a YouTube channel and you go ahead and apply for American Express and you don't have an EIN, you can go ahead and get an American Express business card that's gonna be assigned to your social. It, it works, you can get business credit. Uh, since I've never done it that way, I cannot say that do these cards report to your personal credit, I don't know. But I'm giving you the best advice that I can come up with in terms of getting American Express business credit cards for your business. So be sure to check this video out a few more times before you apply for anything else from American Express. And one of the things that is coming up, we're gonna get into some very deep training and also we're giving this away at the end of March. Brand new, still in the factory wrapping laptop with some of the new training that we're going to get into. So I will let you know, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, and be sure to watch all of these videos because I'm going to give you the best business game that I can do. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.